factory. Here are three examples of it. Just draw a little line here to separate them. In easy factoring, we are simply going to factor out the greatest common factor from any of the terms that are in the particular problem, so two or three or however many terms there are. So what is the greatest common factor of 2x squared and minus 8x? Well, the greatest factor of 2 and 8 is 2, since that's the largest number that divides evenly into 2x squared and minus 8x, or the largest number that divides evenly into 2 and minus 8. Then, the highest power of x here is x squared, but there's only an x squared in the left term and not in the right one, so we can't take the highest power of x. What we want to find is the lowest power of x that is present in every single term. So this is one term, this is another term. The highest power of x is present in both terms is x. So 2x squared times what? Sorry, 2x times what is 2x squared? 2x times x is 2x squared. And 2x times what is minus 8x? 2x times minus 4 is minus 8x. We can check by what's called the distributive property. which tells us that a times x plus y is equal to, and you may like to think about it this way, that it's a times the x, and then adding that to a times the y. And if there were a negative sign here, this would be a x, a x minus a y. So the distributive property works whether you're adding or subtracting. Since the a could in theory be a negative number, we usually just put it with a plus sign. All right. So this would be the factored form of 2x squared minus 8x. Do you see why I call it easy factoring? We're just pulling out the greatest common factor and then um, finding what that is multiplied by to give us our original. Let's look at this one, 3x squared plus 12x minus 9. What is the biggest number that goes into 3, 12, and minus 9? Well, that number would be 3. What is the lowest power of x that's present in all three terms? Well, notice the minus 9 doesn't even have an x, so I can't take an x out at all. So my biggest common factor here will be 3. That will be x squared plus 4x minus 3. Since what times 3 is 3x squared? x squared. What times 3 is 12x? 4x. What times 3 is minus 9 minus 3? And if this middle part here factored, we should factor it some more. I designed this one so that that wouldn't work out. <laughs> we'll check that in a minute. But this will be the end of the factorization for this one. Let's look at the third one, the easy factoring. So what's the biggest number that, or the greatest common factor, what's the biggest number that divides evenly into 45 and 5? Well, that would be 5. What is the biggest power of x that's common to both terms? So this is one term, 45x to the fourth. This is the second term, 5x squared. The biggest power of x that's in both is the lowest power of x present. So that would be x squared. Can you see that x squared goes in here and also goes in there? So 5x squared times what gives me 45x to the fourth? That would be times 9x squared, since 5 times 9 is 45. And x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. Then 5x squared times what gives me 5x squared? Well, that would just be 1. Again, if the 9x squared plus 1 factored some more, we would go ahead and factor it. But again, I designed it so that that would not be the case. So how can I tell that this uh, part here and this part here um, do not factor? We're going to do another video on factoring, maybe two videos, and then we'll come back and answer that question.